of the four states of matter. But I have a question. What makes them different states? Like, why is a brick a brick and liquid water is liquid? Let's think about that one. The temperature is what makes a material the material that it is. So it makes me wonder, though, what is it exactly about the heat that makes it change from a gas into a liquid or to a solid? And it's actually that heat is a type of energy. And solid particles actually tend to just vibrate a little bit. They're usually pretty cold and they're pretty tucked close together. If you add heat or energy to it, it's gonna cause those particles to what? Move around a lot more. Exactly, which means they're gonna push <laughs> off of each other, they're gonna spread out, and that's how we get liquids and gases. If I have something that's really cold, what yeah. do you think it's probably gonna be? Probably ice. Probably ice. <laughs> Well, as I add heat, oh, it's kind of warm in here, then that solid is probably going to become what? It's going to melt. Oh. And it may become a liquid. Might become a liquid. It could become a gas. It could go straight to a gas. You know what that's called? Oh. I have these things called phase changes. So if I go from a solid to a liquid, what would I call it? Melting. Melting. Okay, kind of like ice melts, right, when I leave it out. Right. Well, what do I call it when it goes from a liquid to a gas? Evaporation. Evaporation. So what if we did opposite of evaporation, where the gas turns into a liquid? What would that be? That would be condensation. Do you ever notice on if you have a glass of water with ice cubes in it, it's warm outside? What happens to the outside of the glass? It gets little water mo molecules around it. That's water condensation. Oh. Condensation also happens in clouds, where the water vapor is up in the air, it condenses down, and guess what happens if the cloud gets too full? Rain! And then, what's the other one? If I take a liquid and I turn it into a solid, because it gets colder, what do we call that? That would be freezing. Freezing. I bet our audience is pretty familiar with those words, melting, freezing, boiling, but I wonder, is it possible for a material to go from a solid, skip the liquid, and go immediately into a gas? It is. And what's that called? That's called sublimation. Oh, kind of like what comets do. Exactly. Oh. Maybe a more common example would be something like dry ice. Have you ever seen that? Ooh, that's yes, pretty cool. That stuff's it pretty looks cool. Like a fog that comes over top. It's pretty cool. Is it possible then for a gas to go directly back into a solid, not becoming a liquid in the middle stage? So you mean the opposite of sublimation? Yeah. That would be deposition. Oh, kind of like frost that forms on the ground. How it's cold, the air molecules in the air are gas, but when it's on the ground and it's cold enough, it becomes frost. It looks like frost. Oh. <laughs>